Hi everyone and welcome back to the Astro Bloke channel. So anybody that's been following me, and I know there's a few of you, because last weekend I was extremely humbled by the fact I hit a thousand subscribers. So I want to say a massive thank you to everybody who has subscribed and supported me. And thank you also for all the great comments I get. It's, um, it, it's really nice. It's, uh, it's, a, a, it's, a, it's a real good feeling of a community. Um, the astrophotography community can be really good. And uh, I get a lot from it. So thank you ever so much. Um, but if you have been following me, you'll know that I've got my little roll-off roof observatory that I built. Uh, I've called it Astro Blokes Star Shed. Might even change it to Star Box. I haven't made a plaque yet. I need to sort that out. So um, I don't know. I could even change the name before I get that. But if you've been following me, I motorised the roof recently with a gate motor on a rack and pinion, and it's it's been brilliant. Absolutely love it. Uh, but what I wanted to do was get it remote, so that, uh, remote controlled, so that basically I can remote in from anywhere when I'm not at home, get the roof off and start Nina up and get a sequence going. So uh, the plan, and I'll just show you one of these, this is a, an Arduino Uno, so I think it cost me £20 online. And uh, Joe from Joe's Astrophoto.com, uh, my friend in uh, Colorado, and if you haven't checked out his channel, please do. He's got some excellent content. Um, he liked the idea of the uh, way I did my roof, and he bought a very similar motor. He's managed to be able to mount his inside, so it's worth checking out his video on that um, because it gives you an alternative. It was uh, I couldn't do it on mine, but um, as I say, it's a, it's a nice way of doing it as well. So we're going to work together with the Arduino and we're going to get the roof controlled by the computer uh, using one of these. Um, so it actually turns out that Joe used to do a bit of coding so uh, I couldn't be any luckier. So we're going to work together and we're going to get that all sorted and once we've got the solution sorted out we'll pass that information on to you. There's uh, some solutions out there that you can uh, pre-buy but as with all astrophotography, um, it comes with a bit of a price tag and one that I'm not particularly willing to part with. So we're still working on that at the moment. We haven't got that, that uh, operating yet. So I've found a way of doing it uh, uh, beforehand as a little sort of temporary thing. And I'm going to use this, I'm going to keep it as a backup. And I thought I'd share it with you as it's dirt cheap and dead simple to do. So I initially, I've got some key fobs and I thought if I bought a unit that learnt the remote frequency that I could get into that and it would set it off like, but it doesn't work because the gate opening motor has a rolling code. So it can't learn that and make it move. It was receiving the signal but wouldn't open or close. So that, that route didn't work. So what I did find was a Wi-Fi controlled relay switch. Um, I'm just going to jump on Amazon. I'll show you what I actually bought. Okay, so we're on Amazon. Uh, this is what I ordered: an MH Cozy EWE Link or U Link Wi-Fi relay switch. It's got four relays uh, built into it. Uh, it was twenty-two pound ninety. Um, it was so easy to set up. It was uh, quite uh, quite shocking. So it's powered by uh, just a USB. Um, and as I say, you've got four switches, um, only utilising two at the moment, uh, one to open the roof and one to close the roof. Um, there is one other control where you can stop the roof in a certain position. I wouldn't need to do that uh, when remoting in. The only time I do that is if I'm actually at home and I might just slide the roof back a little bit if I can get away with it. But in that case, I'd use just the remote to do that. So uh, I didn't need that in there. As I say, there's an app on uh, the Play Store and on the iOS App Store. It's free, just download it and it gives you complete control from anywhere. You can just remote in and uh, get it up and running. So that's where I bought it from. I'm sure there's other places you can buy them from and other makes, but that's the one I've used and it works great. Okay, and here's the unit in the flesh. And I've basically only programmed the first two buttons 
Um, I've got relay one and relay two. Relay one opens the roof and relay two closes the roof. I can actually operate the roof from here just by pushing the button. and close the roof. So at the moment this is just a very temporary installation. I've got some um, good wire that I've ordered. I just used some uh, old wire I had at the moment. It wasn't really long enough. So I've got some proper lengths coming which will um, give me a much neater install. But basically you just have a double run here. From each relay you've got your normally open and your common and basically you have one coming from the common and one from the normally open and when that is operated and it closes that relay that then operates the uh, control that you have connected at the motor and I'll show you that in now so I need to get everything installed neatly you just take this off So up here you've got this uh, little unit here and it's got the um, open, closed and stop functions and then this is the common. So basically your commons come off of the relays of that unit in the uh, observatory and I've got one running to the open and one running to the close. So that's as simple as it is to set up. Wiring it in is, actually isn't that difficult at all. Um, as I say, I've just used some temporary bits of wire that I had not really long enough I've got some nice neat wire coming and when that's here I'm gonna install it all nice and neatly and properly and that'll be uh, done a bit of a better standard than what I've done at the moment but this was really just a test to make sure it all works which it does really well so I've got a short video here showing the app EWE link and basically I just push relay one and it opens the roof and you can see there that I've got another little old phone there that I use as my camera so I can keep an eye on everything and then if I push relay 2 it closes the roof and it's as simple as that and this can be done from anywhere so very simple really easy to set up as well yeah setting the actual app up was a real doddle um, it was download off the app store or the play store whichever you need once you were downloaded you just connect to your Wi-Fi but it has to be the 2.4 gigahertz so not the 5 gigahertz it only works on 2.4 once I was in there there's a pairing mode on the unit it tells you how to get it in that there's literally just a button you hold when you turn it on once it's in the pairing mode you just say pair and it does everything for you it looks for it it connects to your Wi-Fi sets everything up and it's done and then once you're in um, you can give the the room or whatever it is you're going to control a name and then it shows you the four relays as buttons and you can customize them completely so you can give them a name they were just they're just like sort of marked as the relay one relay two at first and I just changed mine to open and close so it was really simple and it works great I mean it's it's um, such a cheap solution I mean 20 22 pound 19 I think I've spent about five pound on some wire that's um, in the post at the moment that's gonna help me uh, get it um, installed a bit neater but I'm gonna keep this installed as a backup so I'm still planning to add the Arduino through the PC and control it that way and hopefully get it included in the uh, automation of Nina and what I'll have is that as well so if there should be a problem like the computer for some reason crashes or locks up and I can't get into it or whatever I can then get into the um, Wi-Fi signal onto the uh, Wi-Fi relay and I can shut the roof that way so um, I've got a few options on that um, some people have said to me what are you going to do about the roof uh, if the scope's up have you got any safety positions for that so um, there's uh, one of the programs that we're looking at or when we're writing the code with the Arduino that won't allow you to shut the roof unless the scope is actually reporting that it's in its parked position so that's one way you can do it now with my kit I also got two infrared sensors 
so I'm going to actually place them on some short poles that come off the front of the roof going across so if anything is in that path it will stop immediately so that will be another safety feature for my scope um, and the only other safety feature I've got is I've got a really nice uh, neighbour so I'm going to give them a remote control and uh, if anything, if everything completely crashes and the Wi-Fi is gone and everything else or power I can say to them could you shut my roof for me please and hopefully they can just push the button and it will close and if not they can come and turn the key and uh, shut it manually but I'm not actually uh, uh, that remote so it's not like I've got this at the top of a mountain and uh, I can never get to it most of the time I'm going to be nearby um, and I'm only going to be you know down the road or something it's just so that I can image whenever I want and I never have to miss an opportunity yeah so there you've got a real simplistic way of controlling your roof remotely and uh, hopefully if any of you just want a nice cheap solution uh, that I can't think you can go uh, much better than that really um, it's not expensive at all and it works perfectly so in the comment section below I will put a link to that product that I've bought and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and of course I will be updating this video uh, with a follow-up uh, with Joe with what we uh, managed to come up with using the Arduino which again is a, a fairly inexpensive solution it just requires a lot more work to set up because um, there's no there's no code or anything written for that so we need to come up with that bit but uh, that'll be a nice project and a bit of fun to do so um, yeah that's what we're going to do so I wish you all clear skies and until next time take care